What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. We are back today playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping back onto that ranked double ladder with this weakness policy Galissapod team. This team was actually made by Pokesports over here. Pokesports is another Pokemon VGC YouTuber. I will leave all of his channel and all of his stuff in the description below. So definitely go check him out because this team looks awesome and I want to try it out. So I was just like, yeah, let me try it out and give this boy a shout out. But rocking out on this team, like I said, we got weakness policy Galissapod, and we also have Kanto Region Weezing right here, which is an awesome Pokemon right here. It has Neutralizing Gas, Black Sludge, Sludge Bomb for Stab, Willow Wisp actually pester physical attackers, Taunt for like Tailwind Pokemon and Trick Room Pokemon, and Protect over here. We got Big Boy Galissapod, who is going to work well with one of my favorite Pokemon, which is Togedemaru. We can actually uh, trigger the weakness policy with the token tomorrow with the volt switch considering glow spot eats up physical attacks very very well so we'll be able to eat up that real quick trigger the weakness policy and roll out glow spot is emergency exit obviously as its ability liquidation leech life for stab drill run for coverage and protect token tomorrow on the other hand has nuzzle to pest around lower speed iron head for stab Bolt switch for stab and fake out as a nice little first turn flinch. We also got Togekiss over here with the Razor Claw and Super Luck just to boost its crit up. Heat Wave, Dazzling Gleam, Air Slash, and Follow Me. Wonderful moveset for this thing. One of my favorites for the Togekiss. We also have Comfy, new Pokemon from the DLC. Well, would you guys even consider these guys new anymore? It's been a while since the DLC came out, but still, I still consider them new. This thing has Triage as its ability, but Beery Berry so it can eat up a Steel Shot. Draining Kiss gets priority because of its ability because it's a healing move. Floral Healing, which is a strong healing move. Well, not a strong healing move. I don't even know how to say it. It's a better heal. It's a better heal. It just heals up a lot of HP, and we will, will get first turn priority because of the ability. Then we can also roll Trick Room and Ally Switch with it. And then in the final spot, we got the best Pokemon out there. We got Cinderace over here, Life Orb with the Light Bureau ability, Pyro Ball, Iron Head, High Jump Kick, and Bounce. This thing's an absolute monster. You guys already know about it. If you guys want to try out this team for yourself, run the code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get going. Let's get rolling. Let's go get some wins on that ranked double ladder. Here we go, first battle coming at you guys. Let me check out the speeds on these Pokemon before I actually start picking because I really do not know them. And we have Trick Room as well. So we got 80 speed, 40 Ghost Spot is slow, so it's gonna work wonderful in the Trick Room. So I could actually Bolt Switch out into a Comfy, get Trick Room rolling and go from there. That couldn't be bad. But then on the other hand, we got Togekiss who is pretty fast. We got Comfy who's pretty fast and uh, Cinderace which is flying. So if we're gonna use Cinderace, we don't really wanna roll Trick Room. Uh, let me see who he has. He can roll Trick Room as well. But do we think he is going to roll Trick Room? I think we just go Toga tomorrow and Glisspod and try to show this off right off the bat. Um, do we bring Cinderace as a back end mon? I think we could bring Cinderace as a back end mon and bring Weezing as well because we can always Volt Switch into the Neutralizing Gas so Emergency Exit doesn't uh, proc. Um, is that the play I want to do? Is that the play I would like to do? Yeah, let's go Weezing and then bring Cinderace in the back end just as a big physical attacker to come in there and kind of clean up some things. But. Guys, like I said, shout out to Poke Sports for making this team. Link is in the description below for their channel and all that good stuff. I know I get a lot of, like, I guess crap, whatever you guys want to call it, when people are like, oh, you didn't uh, give out a shout out to the person who made the team. But in all honesty, every time I know who made the team, I will give it a shout out. If I do not make or know who made the team, I will not give a shout out because I usually find my teams off Instagram and Twitter. So if I really do not know who made the team, I just play it. But if I do know it, I always give a shout out. So definitely go check out their channel for the creators of the team. But he goes, uh, that's Cops over here, so he could roll Trick Room. I'm totally fine with that. He could roll Trick Room right here, right now. I'm cool with it. So I'm gonna go, hmm, I'm gonna go Volt Switch right here. I'm gonna Volt Switch out against the Gliss Spot. I'm gonna Dynamax Gliss Spot as well, and then I, do I go for the Geyser and change up the weather as well? We go for Geyser or Flutter? So we go for Geyser, change up that weather. I'd rather have my weather instead of his pesty little sandstorm. Tell him to get out of here. Tell him to get out of here. But um, Togedemaru definitely should go first, so he can do more than half for me. That's totally fine. Because I'm going to get this Weezing in here so we don't uh, emergency exit, especially when we're Dynamax. Because I believe that it will still work when we're Dynamax if we go past half health. So Dynamax in here. Glisspot coming out, coming big. He's got to go for a Trick Room, right? And, and again, I'm totally fine with it. I'm 100% fine with it. If we can just waste out these Trick Room turns and then eventually get out, uh, what's it called here? I could have faked out the T-Tar, which, which was would have been nice. Oh, that's fine if he wants to swap like that. I'm totally fine by that. I think he thought I was going to go for a Trick Room, but I'm really not. I'm just triggering Weakness Policy, changing up weather, and rolling from there. Which is beautiful. Which is beautiful. So he definitely thought I was going for the Fake Out with the Toga tomorrow. Which I did not. Which I did not. Which was pretty solid by me. And then I can actually uh, go into the Neutralizing Gas here. Or do I go into Cinderace? I kind of want to go into Cinderace. Do I go into Cinderace or Weezing? Hmm. 
I say we're going to Weezing right now. I say we're going to Weezing and just keep my plan steady. Just keep my plan steady and we can roll off from here. And look at it. Kanto Weezing right here. This thing is looking dope. And it's shiny, yo. Let's get it. Neutralizing gas pops out. So no more abilities here. Rock Slide's going to come here. He's going to do some nice damage to us. I could have swapped into my... uh. I definitely could have swapped into my uh, my Cinderace. I think I should have. I think that would have been a better call. But here goes the guys are coming out here. Weakness policy helping out tremendously. We change up that weather and we do some big old damage. Uh, this thing might actually uh, go for a. Uh, do we think he's gonna go for a uh, what's it called? An ally switch again? I think he might. I think he might, dude. Leave me alone. That's why I'm not gonna do much. Could just taunt, or could just protect and roll another geyser. Hmm. What would I like to do? I kind of want to say he goes for the ally switch. I'm going to say he goes for the ally switch. Or do I say he doesn't? Yeah, you know, I'm not going to overthink it. I'm just going to go after the teeth here. I'm not going to overthink it. No way you go for the ally switch. He goes for helping it. Okay, beautiful. So he doesn't go for the ally switch. I do not overthink the play. That usually fails on me all the time. I'm just like, all right. I'm just like, okay, don't overthink, let's go. Because every time I overthink, I always mess it up. Yeah, I would have went after the, what's it called, and we would have been, uh, it would have kind of been a waste. So we could potentially take out the, uh, well, we should be able to take out the big boy now, big boy T-Tar, which would be lovely. Emergency exit doesn't pop off because we got the neutralizing gas out there. And we roll with the geyser. Let's get it. T-Tar should be gone here, no problem. See you later. Oh, dude, of course it's Sash. Of course the dude's Sash. Of course this thing's Focus Sash. What T-Tar uses Focus Sash? Like, what do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, Weezing should be one of the fastest on the field, so I'm just gonna go for a Sludge Bomb and try to take that thing out. And then, uh, I guess we'll go for a Max Quake just to get the special defense boost. Over on to Klopsky. Let's see what happens here. Helping Hand comes out one more time. Come on, Weezing, outspeed this T-Tar. 80 speed? I think you're gonna be faster, Weezing. It is not. Oof! 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 Ah! Uh, no, please! Takes out my Galissify. Come on! I thought Weezing might have been a little bit faster, but we still have Cinderace in the back end. He still has his Dynamax. And we're going to be able to take out T-Tar just to get rid of it right here. They see you later, dude. And if he brings out a physical attacker, hopefully we can uh, outplay it and kind of just roll out with a uh, with a uh, Will-O-Wisp. But who else do I have? Did I bring Comfy? Was that was that my next little, little Pokemon? No, it was Togi. We're going to bring out Togi tomorrow once again. We got the fake out chance, and I can start nuzzling around and just pestering. He's going to throw out Venusaur here. Okay, so do I nuzzle that thing? He's going to Dynamax. He's definitely Dynamaxing. So, no need to fake out. Hmm. I said I just sludge bomb. I said I just sludge bomb on you, and then I just go for a nuzzle. And just try to start pestering this thing. Paralyzing it, slowing it down, all that good stuff. And he actually might swap into the Torkoal. Which could be rather scary. Which could be rather scary if it swaps into the Torkoal. But, there's the Dynamax. Good thing I didn't go for the fake out. Smart play by me. So, just not even roll with it. Just not even roll with it. Bam, 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 bam. Come on, Jeans, you got this one. You got this one. G Max and Venus were coming out with that big old vine lash. I'm gonna just nuzzle this. Hopefully, my paralyzed luck can be uh, on par today. We can get some uh, little, little luck here. Nuzzle comes out, says yo. Says yo, you paralyzed. And I, I'm gonna say he, he's not moving this turn. He's not moving. Weezing goes. Oh, Weezing out speeds both of these guys. Take that thing out. Take that thing out. E. Next one should be able to do it. Unless he goes for a pain split. Hopefully he doesn't go for a pain split. He's gonna go after my uh my token tomorrow here. And bring it down to its sash. Which is chilling, which I'm cool with. You're gonna get that special defense boost as well. And please don't go for a pain split over here. Please do not go for a pain split. Please don't do it. This thing's life orb. And Nightshade comes out here. And are you doubling into my Togi? He is doubling into my Togi. Yo, leave my Togi tomorrow alone. But now the real question is, do we think Sludge Bomb is actually going to take this thing out? I sure hope so. I sure hope so. He got pl he's plus one now. And I gotta go for like a pyro ball over on this thing. Oh, the rain's going though. Not the rain, man! Not the rain. I think I gotta stay fire typing here. I gotta go for the Sludge Bomb. Of course. Do I bounce? I could bounce. And waste a turn. Hmm. I do bounce and waste a turn. Let's bounce up. Let's bounce up. See if I can dodge an attack here. And see what this guy's gonna actually do. Hope he goes for like a guard or something. Hmm. So what, this one's gonna be close. I feel like this one's gonna be really, really close. 
This one's gonna be super close. Yo, leave me alone, man. Leave me alone. He changed type. He's gonna withdraw the dust cops over here, which is totally fine. He's gonna bring out Torkoal, right? He's gonna bring out Torkoal, double his speed. Will Cinderace still have speed this thing? Oh, dude, we have neutralizing gas, and he forgot. Yo, let's go. Let's go. So neutralizing gas cancels out that ability. No sun coming out here. Sludge bombs drop, and he's gonna go after Cinderace, which is beautiful. Put him in a poison. Give me that poison. Let's get it, yo. Let's get it. Glaring Weezy coming in clutch here. Coming in clutch. Cinderace would have avoided that anyway. Because I would change my type being the flying. And now we are looking pretty good here. Yeah. Poison taken away. We're going to drop another sludge bomb over on that thing. Hey, hey, hey. Let's get it. I feel like this thing's going to protect. But I'm still going to apply the pressure over onto it. And this thing is slower. It's paralyzed. All that good stuff. And I'm feeling a paralyzed turn. Like our paralyzed turn should be coming soon. Our paralyzed look should be coming up very, very soon. Let's see if we can get it here. This could be big. Just waste out that Dynamax turns and just have the Cinerase being able to roll out and run things. Let's get it. What are you doing, Torquo? I feel like the Torquo has got to protect, right? But still, I'm gonna just, like I said, I'm going to just play the simple plays. Just throw an attack on it. This thing's going to end up Garden. I'm cool with it. I'm totally cool with it. Bounce going to come down. It's going to block it up. And we're going to drop a nice big sludge bomb over here. I hope this thing's going for like an eruption. So it'll do like no damage. Take it out. Oh, so close. What are you going for? He goes for an Earth Power. That's totally fine. We are... Didn't we change... Oh my god, we don't have Libero. I totally forgot about that too. That cancels out Libero. The neutralizing gas is doing me dirty too. It's doing me dirty too. Poison does take out. We got speed. We have speed right now. And he's going to have to bring out the Dust Cobs. I'm going to predict the ally switch here. I got to predict the ally switch, right? Now it's time to predict the ally switch. We know he's not outspeeding us. Or should I just bounce here? I think I should just bounce regardless. Hmm. We're gonna outspeed this thing. I'm gonna now. You know, what? I'm just uh, apply a pyro ball over on this side. I think that's play. I feel like Ali switch coming. There it is. Let's go. Let's go, yo, your boy, making the reads for the final play. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Pyro ball coming in here. For the win. What a play. What a play to end this battle. Yo, get out of here, boy. Get out of here, boy. Fireball takes that thing out in one shot. And this sludge bomb should be able to take it out. This sludge bomb should be able to come up clutch and take this little bit of HP left. This doesn't have its uh, plus one special defense anymore. Just like that, we take battle number one and we go one and oh. Let's get it, yo. That was an awesome battle right there. We showed off the Glissopod and we played pretty well with the reeds. Let's get it, guys. Second battle going on here. This guy's got Incineroar, Real Boom. Porygon 2, Draco Fish, Slow Bro, and Togekiss right here. I think uh, Neutralizing Gas will be great lead right here. So we can uh, get rid of the Intimidate, Grassy Glide, or not Grassy Glide, Grassy Terrain. All that good stuff. But I feel like we can just lead that and then start pestering with Toga tomorrow. And then bringing in Big Dogs in the back like Cinderace. And maybe Confi here too. Because Confi can't cancel out Trick Room. We can do a lot of different things with that. I think we just pester around here. And uh, take this one slow. I feel, like, I feel like that's a call. I feel like that's a call. Considering in the first battle, we already showed off the wheezing and the glissopod kind of thing going on. The weakness policy and all that good stuff. Maybe we'll try to switch it up. Get big dogs out here. Show off a little bit of comfy action. And try to get ourselves a second win in our second battle. But let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go, y'all. Feeling good. Feeling good right now. We got Cinderace on the team. And I want to be able to just get out like Cinderace and have Comfy just chilling there. Healing up my Cinderace constantly. That will be awesome. Like Everybody knows how strong Comfy can actually be. But he goes into the boy Slowbro and uh, Tokus right here. So Super Luck or whatever it's rolling, Serene Grace, will not actually be able to work out here. I can actually nuzzle up. Just start pestering around here. Let's see. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? We do have this. We do have Sludge Bomb, which I do want to go into hands down. Actually, is this thing physical attacking? Is that thing physical attacking? I'm definitely going to fake out something. Probably this for right now. Let's just see how this goes. Get a nice big old Sludge Bomb coming at you guys. But I think... uh. Galarian slow, bro. Isn't he physical attacking? So I can just will it with that thing and uh, pester it down. Which could be nice. Follow me. He's going to come out here. Good thing to fake out. It does come first. I'm totally fine with that turn. That's a beautiful turn. But kind of a wasted turn for him. We should get off some damage. Get a little bit of flinch action. Show me the poison. Show me the poison. No poison going on here. Uh, Do I keep pestering? How do I roll out with this one? I, th I think I just go for Sludge Bomb. Just in case he goes for another... Uh... Just in case he goes for another... What's it called? I'll try to nuzzle him. No, I don't want to nuzzle him. I'll just iron head across. 
I think he might go for another follow me and try to keep that slow bro up in action. Yep, here comes another follow me. That's totally fine. We should be able to take out Tokus here and be chilling. And just be chilling. Just be chilling. Iron Head comes out here. Oh, it does not take him out. It does not take him out. Good thing we did double up. Okay, he's going to pull out his uh, Guav Berry? Biggie Berry? What berry are you rocking out? And Sludge Bomb should be able to just pick up this KO easily. Sludge Bomb comes out. This thing trying to roll Trick Room. I think it's going to try to roll Trick Room. That might be its play. We have Bash Pokemon in the back, so I'd say we just kind of pester here. No, Belly Drum coming out here. The physical attack is getting boosted here. Um, he drops down. He's got to have a berry, right? You got to be burying, right? Yeah, here comes his berry. This thing is definitely Dynamax here. Do I will it with? Do I nuzzle? Do I play this one? Come on, Jeans, you got this? <laughs> or do I just double up in attacks? Because you can't follow me anymore. You cannot follow me anymore. But he might bring out Porygon too. That might be the play. Let's see. Nope, Incineroar comes out here. No Intimidate is dropping. He does have Fake out here. Which is a pain in the neck. And he's definitely Dynamaxing. Hmm. Hmm. I guess we'll Will-O-Wisp here. What typing is that thing again? What typing is Weezing? We're not Weezing. Slow, bro. Poison Psychic. He's boosted. He always boosted out the buns. Um. Bam. Bam. A Volt Switch. How do I do this? What should I do, man? I don't want a Volt Switch here. Is my Volt Switch, I can come back out with another Fake Out and be chilling. But we'll see. He's definitely Dynamaxing, right? Because if I can get out this Cinerace, I can definitely Dynamax and just be able to just take that thing out. No problem. They get out of my face. Get out of here, kid. Let's see. This is this is scary, yo. He's got a Belly Drum rolling here. Belly Drum is out here and about. If I knew this thing can roll Belly Drum, which I actually did not know, I would have went for the Taunt. Taunt would have been a great play right off the rip. Just Taunt that thing. Make sure it can't Belly Drum. All that good stuff. This thing's definitely going to fake out, right? He faking out. Not my Togi, man. Leave my Togi alone. Togi tomorrow flinches. We get off this will o -Wisp, though, which is huge. Which is huge. We get the burn on it. So it's going to neglect some damage, but this thing's still going to be able to hit like a truck and set up the Psychic Surge, no problem. Yep, see a Weezing. But Weezing, yo, you did your job, dude. Intimidate is going to come out now. Intimidate 100% comes out now. Which stinks. Which stinks, man. So it's going to actually do one to my Cinerace if I bring him out. Or no, Intimidate comes out first, yo. That's lovely. That is lovely. That is lovely. Burns out here. Now I can bring out Cinderace. Yes, sir. Let's get Cinderace out here. And I can Volt Switch in the Comfy now. And kind of keep my Cinderace up just by healing. All that good stuff. Get it, Cinder. Get it, big dog. You getting that Dynamax. You know it. You know it. You know it. Uh, do I go for Airstream? Fireball? I'd say we just go for a Fireball. I do big damage to that thing. And then Volt Switch out. And then we can Volt Switch out. Definitely doubling up. Trying to do as much damage as I can to this thing. Because this thing, like I said, huge threat right here. As it's plus six on attack. Even with the burn. Even with the burn, this thing is such a huge threat. I think it has physical damage burn, so does that, does that consider him still plus three? Which is still an absurd amount of damage coming at me. So, big old Dynamax. We have base 140 plus stab and life orb damage with this G-Max Fireball. Just such a strong move, such a strong Pokemon. We might be able to pick up the KO here. Let's see. But I did double into this thing just in case. Speed shouldn't be a problem for us. Should be chilling. Here goes big old Fireball. Get it! Take him out. Do some big old damage. Come on, Volt Switch. I need you here. Volt Switch. I need you here. Yeah. No. No. Get out here, Comfy. Get out here, Comfy. Bro, no. Thought we were going to be able to take that thing out. We were so close. We were so close, man. He goes Burning Jealousy. Leave me alone. We eat up. Both of my Pokemon do. He's gonna come in with another Mindstorm. No, he's gonna go for a Knuckle, which I'm chilling with that. Go after my Comfy. Comfy eats that up all day. Thank you, Volt Switch. Uh, how do I roll? How do I roll? I really don't need HP. He might Max Guard here. Oh, he might die to the burn. I said I just go for like a Floral Kiss over here. Is that what's called? And I just uh, Knuckle over onto the you. Get that attack. A Draining Kiss. Because this will have first turn priority and it should be able to take out. Even though it's like teensy bit HP, we should be able to take out. He's gonna withdraw. You right there, and he's gonna pull out whom? He's gonna pull out Rollaboom. He's gonna get the grassy terrain rolling out and about. And I'm totally fine with that. Like our speed just chilling. We're cooking here. Draining Kiss should go first with Triage ability. Or I know I think I'm pronouncing it wrong. 
triage, however you want to pronounce it. You guys know what I'm talking about. And this thing does end up guard. We're going to go plus one, which is pretty big. Danny Kiss. No. Block. Max Uncle comes out here. That Biro change. And we go to Fighting Type to get that stab boost. That's why this ability is so good. Just a stab boost is absurd. Let's go. Get him. Do some damage. There goes plus one. Um, He's got to fake out, right? He's got to fake out. Onto my comfy. But he did guard. So this thing might be able to eat up a... Will this thing be able to eat up a draining kiss? He's going to fake me out. So I got to go after Slowbro here. I got to go after Slowbro. That's a fact. Oh, will, will burn take out? Nope. The grassy surge is just going to neglect the burn damage. He's still going to be able to hit pretty hard. So I don't know how I play this one. Start boosting speed. Let's say I boost my attack again. Hmm. I don't really want to do this. Is ally switch? Hmm. He's faking me out. That's bad. I guess we'll go for a draining kiss over here. He's definitely faking me out, right? Let's see what happens here. Just not go for fake out, or we just have first turn priority here. Nice draining kiss, because I could have just doubled through. I could have just uh, took out the slow bro with the draining kiss then. Let's see, let's see. Or just fake out come out after. Okay, beautiful, yo. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Not bad, not bad at all, yo. Comfy OP, man. Going first before a fake out. Like who does that? What kind of Pokemon does that? Comfy OP, baby. But now we're sitting here. Uh, did he use his Dynamax? Yeah, he used his Dynamax on his uh, Slowbro. We can just keep the Cinderace alive with Floral Healings and uh, be chilling here, pretty much. All he has left is Cinderace and, or not Cinderace, Incineroar, which is going to come out with a Fake Out. He's going to Fake Out my Cinderace, that's a fact. Uh, do I heal it up, though? I wish I could change typings. I am fighting right now. I am fighting. I am fighting. You're... It's definitely going to Fake Me Out. That's a fact. Dimonade comes out here. Now we're only plus one. He might just go into a grassy glide. So he's definitely gonna fake out my Cinderace. Or do I just ally switch? I say I just ally switch, like have Comfy take it. Oh, that might be beautiful. Actually, no. Because then ally switch won't go through. Or I do, I'm so confused right now because we'll ally switch. If I ally switch, we'll fake out go before I ally switch. I don't want to risk it because I'm not 100% sure. So right now I'm just gonna go for a Pyro Ball over on this side. And I think I just go for a Draining Kiss over onto. Hmm. Over on to the Incineroar. Do a little bit of damage here. We still have Toby in the back. Oh, he does. Oh, no. He, he's definitely going for Fake Out. He's just going to be on my, uh, what's it called? He's just going to be on my Cinderace. Then, 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 here it comes. Fake Out popping out. Mwah. I saw that coming. And then a Grassy Guide? Yep, Grassy Guide coming across. That's a, that's tasty snack you got there. Flinch couldn't move. I think I just Floral Healing myself, my Comfy right here. And I just take out the... Boom, or is he going to protect? That's the real question. I just got to change to a fire type. That's huge. Take this one slow. Yo, dude, Cinderace coming in big again, dude. Cinderace always strong. We still have Token tomorrow in the back with another fake out. I'm just going to go Pyro Ball here. And I'm just going to Floral heal Healing up on myself. Oh, no, I can only do that on my teammate. But I guess we'll Draining Kiss here. Just get a little bit of HP and double up into this roll Boom. But he might protect, which is the scary part. I wouldn't say it's scary, but still, it's a little tough if you do that. I wish you can uh, floral heal up on yourself. Just such a strong HP move. But I feel like it would be so OP if you could heal up on yourself. <laughs> like, just keeping my comfy alive just to keep all my other Pokemon alive. Like, come on, man. Granny Kiss comes out here. Thing does not protect. Beautiful. Get some HP back. We do a little bit more damage to the real boom, so we'll get a little bit more HP. Then going after the Incineroar. Grace Guy comes out once again. Then the race. Oh, that was nasty. That was nasty. That was nasty amount of damage. My Cinderace is going to go down, but we're going to take a one for one, which is huge. I will take a one for one all day. One for one here. See you later. Life orb damage. Go ahead, take me out. Oh, Cinderace, I'm sorry, man. Should have healed you up, big dog. Should have healed you up. But I feel like we should be fine here. I feel like we should be fine. That Compi coming out here. Oh, just snarling. Just snarling. I can fake out this thing next turn and just, uh, just drain and kiss. 
And start pestering. Special attack down for the count. Yo, what you mean? Leave my special attack alone. Leave it alone. And now it just comes down to Togi. Togi tomorrow, baby. Do I fake out? Yeah, I gotta fake out. Just guarantee myself a turn. Get some HP. And send out a draining kiss. No, not Nuzzle yet. Fake him out. Let's get him. Get him, attack. So we got two not very strong attackers. I mean, Incineroar isn't that good of an attacker himself. And we have heals and pester. So we should be fine. We should be able to take this one slow. And actually end up winning this match. Going 2-0 and oh for you guys. Your boy doing it. Just starting off strong with 2-0. and oh. Maybe going for a perfect record. We'll see in just a second. Flinch comes out. Definitely got to give it to Paralyze. Definitely just got to like... I don't want to just like over risk things. And start going for big damage and all that. Uh, just take it slow. Get the Paralyze. Roll from there. And dude, the grassy terrain. Look how much damage. We did like no damage to him. But it does disappear. Which is probably better for us. So let's go into the Nuzzle. The Nuzzle Buzzle. And just go into another draining kiss. And if he hits uh, my token tomorrow. Oh, my token tomorrow is Sash. But I think a Fire Butts will take it out in one shot. Which stinks, dude. This one could. We actually could lose this one. We could lose this one. I wish my, uh, my token tomorrow was full health. So we can uh, get, get the Sash on. We got a crit, baby. And there's the Paralyze. There's the Paralyze. Show me you can't move. Oh, yes, sir. Do I heal up my token tomorrow? That's the real question. Do I heal up my token tomorrow? I feel like I should. Just so it can trigger Focus Sash, because he's definitely going for a... What's it called right here? He's definitely got to go for a uh, Flare Blitz. Which will bring it down to the Focus Sash. So I'm going to Floral Heal it up. Got to get that Sash off. And do a little bit more damage. And we might be able to get a Flinch off, which could be even better. Taking it slow. Get that Stab damage. Oh, well, we're going for Bolt Switch here, not a Flinch move. We're doing, like, no damage to this thing. This thing's got to have a barrier. But he's just snarling. He's just snarling, man. This one's going to be a long battle. This one's going to be a long battle. This thing's definitely got a berry. He's just pestering around. So, uh, let's go for another Bolt Switch. I'm just Floral. I'm going to just Floral Heal it back up. To top. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. Give me that Floral Healing back again. I want my Focus Sash. I want my Focus Sash, man. <laughs> we might only keep this uh, video to two battles. Because this one might be longer. We'll see. We'll see in a second. And if we go 2-0, oh, yo, and we shut off everything that we can. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. This thing's just going to snarl pester. You little buttery biscuit, man. I'll floral heal up again all day. I'll floral heal up all day. You want to play this with me? I'll play it with you, big dog. You want to do this? I'll do it. Give me my floral healing back. Give me my floral healing back. Give me that health. I want my sash. I want my sash here. Give me that heals. <laughs> no, man. I hate long drawn out battles like this. Like where the end just pestering and doing all this stuff. Hopefully he's paralyzed, can't move. No, Burning Jealousy comes out here. And good thing we are full health. Our Sash might trigger. I'm just gonna floral healing back. And we still have our Sash. You get a crit, dude. Get out of my face. No burns. I'm cool with it. Volt switch again. We floral healing. You wanna play with me? We got plenty of floral healings. I'll do it all day. Like I said, I'll do it all day. <laughs> Give me that health. Mean health. Give it to me. Give it to me. Bolt switch coming out. Get him. Paralyze this turn. Yes. We chilling. Do I attack now? I might want to attack here. Get some health. Get some health for my uh, toe or my confi. Even though it's going to do like one damage. I think maybe floral healing was supply. Let's see. Training kiss. How much damage are we doing? Get it. Get it. Give me my HP. Two HP back? Oh, we got seven. I'll take that all day. Volt switch coming out. Yo, Get him. He's snarling up again. He's snarl borrowing. You get a crit on my Togi. Just get a crit on my Togi. This is nuts. This is absurd. We're healing up my Togi tomorrow. Heal it up. Volt switch. Coming at you. <laughs> Bro, I hate this game. I hate this game. It's too long. It's too long. Give me my health. Give me my health. I'll play the long game. You guys know me. I ain't backing down. I'm not backing down to this chump. To this chump right here. If he gets a burn on me with Burning Jealousy, then I'm going to be mad. Here it is. Wait, watch. This, this is what's going to make me lose the game. Don't you give it to me. Don't you do it. Oh, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Volt Switch coming back out. And this thing definitely has a berry again. This thing definitely has a berry. This thing definitely has a berry. I, I, need, I need a few Paralyzed here. I need a few Paralyzed coming out. 
not messing around. I'm not playing around here. And this guy just quit. He's really not quitting. He really cares about his rank that much. Should I give this guy the win? Do I give this guy the win? Say, so here you go, man. Congratulations. Bolt switch. Now I can go for a draining kiss. Do a little bit more damage this time. We are like minus four. It stinks. Let's get it. Mwah. Spicy meatball. Give me my HP back. Get a little bit back. He's doing damage to my comfy pretty, pretty slowly. Bolt switch coming out here. Get him. They're all coming out again. Stop it, man. Leave me alone. Not very effective on Comfy. Bruh, dude, my Comfy's in the dumps, dude. He's in the dumps right now. Uh, I don't think I go for a Floral Healing. I think I double up again. Bolt Switch. Because I can definitely go for a Floral Healing next turn. Bruh, leave me alone. Just stop it. There any kiss. Mwah. Get it. Give me that HP. That's some tasty HP. How much we got? That just gives me a good, a good bit, even though I'm doing, like, poo-poo damage to it. Tell me this thing's not buried. It's gotta be buried, right? Or it might be a soul fest, to be honest. Burning Jealousy comes out here. Look at him. Ooh, it takes a heaping amount there. He gets a crit on me, dude. What is up with the crits with the Burning Jealousy? Bolt switch. He might. I think he might be a soul vested. So I'm just gonna keep floral healing here. If he's a soul vested, that's that works better for us. I don't want him going back up in in health. Heal up, Togi. Let's get it. Togi tomorrow. Op. We got the two most op Pokemon out on the field right now. Bolt switch. Hey. <laughs> get it. Paralyzed, yes, sir. This thing, I'm, I'm pretty sure this thing's a soul fest. So I'm gonna heal it up again. I'm gonna heal up my token tomorrow again. Bring it back up to full while we can. Get him! Doom 30! Yes. Yes, flower OP. The little lay. The Hawaiian lay necklace is just murking on giant buff cat. Get it. Bring it down there. I don't think, yeah, no way is it Barry. It would have been triggered by now. Could have been triggered by now. He's a soul fest it. Oh, he missed my Togi. That's wonderful. Now I can go for a draining kiss. And a Volt Switch. Yo, we got this one. We got this one. Your boy hanging on. Your boy hanging on and doing the dirty work. Let's get it. Let's get it. Draining kiss. Mwah. We got it. We got this one. I don't think another Burning Jealousy will take out my, uh... Will take out my Comfy? I don't think it will. He's gonna be paralyzed anyway. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Long haul matches for jeans. Paralyzed coming in clutch. We're gonna go for another draining kiss. Double up. This dude doesn't want it. He tried. Imagine wasting this much time for a battle just to lose. Just to lose. <laughs> we should got this one in the bag. Two more volt switches should be able to do the trick, right? Volt switch comes out. Oh, I don't know. This one's going to be kind of close. And he paralyzed again. That just secured it. That just secured it. Let's get it. Battle ends soon. I'm just going to keep uh, throwing this. And we got this one even if the battle does end. We got higher HP. We got two Pokemon on the field. Battle was canceled. Let's get it, yo. 2-0. and And I think we're going to keep that for this video. Just two battles. 2-0 for this video, rather longer last battle that kept us from doing the third battle, but I'm glad I got to show off this team, and I feel like I showed off everything that it has to offer. We got to show off the weakness policy, Galissapod, the token tomorrow triggering it, we got the neutralizing gas, and we also got to show off the Confi, the Cinerase, and the tokens. There's everything all combined. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone!